Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I hope everyone here is doing well. In this week's video, I'm doing another flood check of Miner's Marsh. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is my favorite place to come because it's the closest place to home. It's where I saw some amazing lifers this summer, including the Lee Spittern in this video and the Wilson's Fowler Open, the Pectoral Sandpiper in this video. But today I was told that the river overflowed. The river here is tidal because we're close to the Minas Basin in the Bay of Fundy. So I wanted to come check on water levels and by the looks of it, I need my rubber boots. Oh my God. <laughs> Bring the right shoes. Um, oh yeah, you did because this side a little, Yeah. that side the whole lot more. Like yesterday, that's a super moon stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, someone told me the river overflowed. Like it got high no, enough that the river it, flowed. Not. It did last year, but that's only when it's really a full moon. Yeah. And this moon is really the, the super moon, so. Yeah. And I think that's what's wrong, but who knows? There's a little bit of water on this side in here, but I made it around. Uh, yeah, I mean, I came down a minute ago and then I was like, I'm going to go. These are in my car all the time, so. Yeah, good idea. I'd grab him. <laughs> I see her every time I'm here. Pretty sure she comes three times a day. Sometimes I come twice a day. Place yeah, place. I went home and got him. Oh my god. Like, this is crazy. This is usually so high you can't even see over it. Like that one. It's usually like that. Oh my god. So all these are pushed over. So much water in there. It's a crazy looking spider here. Morning. Morning. Place, it? Yeah, it's a little wet today. Yeah, cool off a little bit though. Yeah, it feels good, but this water is pretty crazy. Oh my god. This is what it looked like before. I gotta take a picture of this. Wow. Crazy. Bunch of starlings up there. Oh my god, you can't even get to the dock. What? Wow, you can't even walk in here. Is it an oven bird, I think? Yeah, I haven't seen one of those in a few months. It's a migrating warbler. A couple of sparrows. 
it's really dark in here. It's hard to get good shots. I hear a vireo. I heard a wood peewee. Probably some cardinals in here too. I hear a chickadee. I hear lots of crows. Just heard a northern flicker. A type of woodpecker. I'm trying to get some warblers. I see a few in this tree. Here's the little yellow guy. Catbird. Catbird eating some worms. There's the cardinal. There's the female. It's the male and the female now. There's the other bird on the ground. The yellow warbler again. There's the female cardinal. Oh, that's a nice one. There's two there. One, two. That was kind of cool. I had to change my focus. All right, I'm getting a bit distracted taking photos of birds. I meant to just be checking on the water levels, so I'm sorry. Beautiful morning though, man. And I'm starting to see more life. This section of the trail that I just walked through is like the best spot for songbirds and warblers and stuff like that. So that's why I stayed here so long. I'll try to make it quick through the rest. This is right where I was standing when I was uh, learning about the pectoral sandpiper from that guy in one of my last videos. So, so much more water, it's so much higher up here. Normally you can see the ground in different spots. Lots of water here. I don't really see any birds in here, but this side seemed to do a lot better. We're a bit further from the river than on the other side. Definitely September though. You want to see what caused all the floods? Other than the water in the river, of course. That guy right there, it's his fault.
Ako. Trying to catch the worm in his mouth. The other one up on the bench. enough see you later well, I think that was a northern flicker ahead of it that was cool some of the better shots I've ever gotten of a crow that's for sure There was one day at my sister's house in Ontario. I woke up and I was sitting outside and a crow landed right next to me. And I got these photos. I've always loved these shots, but the ones from today were really good too. Yeah, I know. I ruined your breakfast, my bad. Eating all those worms before the robins can get to them. Sparrow in there. Here goes a yellow warbler. Just coming up to the bridge. Tons of water right here. Well, that's it for this video. The water levels here at the marsh are really high, so hopefully they improve over the next few weeks. I'll come down and check for sure. Happy to see the oven bird on the ground today. Lots of yellow warblers around, and I really like the photos of the crows that we got. That was really cool. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any videos about birds. I usually put out a video every week. I'm in the midst of finishing up my California series by now and I gotta work on my Briar Island series, which I just recorded. So until next time, stay safe, get outside, enjoy some birds, and thanks for watching.